Welcome back to the channel guys, this is Stories from the Jail House to talk about everything Jail related here. Big thank you to everyone that watches my channel, I really appreciate it. Especially you guys that take the time to comment and uh, subscribe. If you've not been here before, I'm someone that was foolish enough to get involved with the justice system at 15 years old. And um, I spent 11 years in some of the toughest jails in England starting at 15 like I just said. And at 27, when I come out, I really didn't know what I was going to do. But luckily, I got into Strongman. It fell on my lap. It saved my life and, you know, changed my life. I'm not going to say I'm an, an angel, but, you know, I haven't seen the inside of a prison now for 13 years. Right, guys. What I want to talk to you about today, because I was seeing it on the news the other day that two uh, policemen and they got attacked in Franklin because they refused to go on to the vulnerable prison unit. And I sat there and thought about it, and I thought about the times that I found out that somebody was a sex offender and they were on our wing. And it was a shock to me because a lot of them don't... They don't look like what you expect. They don't look... Uh, dodgy, they don't come with a sign on their head, they look like me and you, and I've befriended these some of these guys, you know and it made me question my, my judgement, it made me question everything, so I remember right, the worst, probably the worst one I remember was this year, is I get a knock on the door from one of my pals, he's got someone's depths, now a depths is what you're in for and it's graphic yeah it has to be graphic for the court so he's like listen l um read what thing he's in for right now i did not i was not ready for that i was young i was still like 22 23 and the detail of this was horrific i was just like wow yeah, and I was like, right. Next morning, I was like, right, let's 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 go and do, let's go and deal with this. Yeah, right. And they're like, no, no, Tom, you were a visitor. That's what they used to call me, a visitor. Even though I went to high security prisons, I was not doing that long compared to them. You know, some of them were doing twenty years, twenty five years, sixteen years. You know, some of them were doing a long time, and. The thing is, is that level of violence that is used against these guys when they get found out is really horrific. And I think the, the, the level is so high, for one, we find it a disrespect that you think you can walk onto our unit. For two, we try and do it for the victims. You know, how dare you do that to somebody and ruin their life? You know, when I read what I read, I'm not going to say it because it's so, it's still really, really raw to me. It, it, it hasn't left me, yeah? It, it hasn't left me. It was that bad. And when I know that he was blinded and I know that he was stabbed in the liver really, really badly. And I don't get it. So when you walk into jail, yeah, and you're a sex offender, the first thing the screw say to you is go to a sex offender unit. Because most of the time on a sex offender unit, 80% will be sex offenders, 20% will be grass, 10% uh, will be grasses, and then the other 10% will be people that have gone into debt and fucking have run away because they're fucked. You know, fucked somewhere, else, you know. And the thing is, is that um, in prison, that like things never go away. Like even when you're in debt, you can move to another jail. That debt never leaves you because someone will will go. Oh my God, you fucking fuck someone over. There, it's 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 such a a small place, and that's how these sex offenders get found out because someone will move on to the wing and they'll go fuck, that's me, you know, he's fucking, he's a wrong one. And we'll be like, what do you mean he's a fucking wrong one? They'll be like, he's a wrong one. And the screws will tell us, yeah, especially if the screws don't, it's a, a really naughty one, you know, the screws will tell us about it. 
and the level like i said the level of violence is is horrific because we take like i said we take it as a disrespect and and plus like you said we we want to do something for the victims now a lot of you guys might not agree with that and you know as i've got older i look back at some of the violence that was used you know was it necessary I don't know, you know, it's, it's just, it's hard to, it's hard to make a decision on the spot, but jail is a very vicious place, and to not go, if you are a sex offender, to not go onto a sex offender unit is absolutely ludicrous, how the hell they can sleep, I don't know, because they are going to get found out sooner or later. Some of them might be a month, some of them might be a couple of years, but sooner or later, they are going to get life-changing injuries. And, like, you know, it's just it's just madness. Absolute madness. Right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. This was just a quick one. I heard that on the radio, and I thought I'd, I'd, I'd put my two pence to it. I hope you enjoyed it, and look, guys, we're nearly at a thousand subs. I never thought I'd get there. So anyway, guys, I hope you have a nice weekend, and I'll see you. Um, I'll see you on the next one.